Hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to make a isotherm map, which is you know a map that show the same area within one map in the same line. First, I'm going to tell you what the data I use. I need uh, this data, online maps, surface temperature, data multimedian, on which the data will be uh, reduced uh, because uh, the image is based on you know, the band is based on the month. So I'm like we're gonna uh, reduce or aggregate all of the um, the average of the temperature. So if I did edit, I use temperature radius, uh, which, is the, which is the data, I reduce it into uh, average. Then I multiply it by uh, 0 0.02 because the scale. So the scale here, and then I add uh, minus 273.15 uh, because this is uh, Kelvin, and I'll change it to Celsius to make it blasting. This is the small parameter, and I'm gonna add it to the map. Let's see what's gonna look like. So this is the normal map of the uh, temperature. You can see it's normal in the sub in the Sahara Africa. It's very red because of you know. Well, this is a desert. Makes sense. Well, in the north, it's uh, more colder. If we you check, you can check it. The value here, and it is minus nine nine. So I'm gonna make an ISO line map. Oh, isothermal map uh, because to make it like to group uh, the temperature to make it easier for visualization or another uh, analysis or even easier to if you want to convert a vector right so this is the command that I use first I'm gonna reclassify it for example if the temperature is under uh, minus 20 I gotta call it minus 20 you visit uh, from minus, minus 20 to minus 15 is 50 and etc until is it greater than 50 gonna be 60 Celsius that's how I group it. And after you group it, uh, you're gonna reduce the neighborhood. Uh, this way, you're gonna make a like, cluster. No, you're gonna uh, aggregate uh, the neighborhood between the pixel. So there will be more, instead of a pixel, they're like a grouping. Uh, in the use mode, modus, or where you use the, the most common value uh, in the neighborhood. Then you uh, use a uh, kernel octagon. Uh, octagon uh, kernel to make it to group it and we see the results this is the normal one and this is the isothermal ah, you see you see the different right uh, it's more like group like cluster you know from this to this ah, they are more like a group instead of you know, like every value so they just like show the group of uh, the value as you see that there's a bright uh, contrast here, right? There's a, like a line between uh, Northern Europe to Southern Europe. You know. So that's in the, in the Sahara Africa. It's like a big line dividing them. So this is what the ISO, ISO line uh, map, but which is using thermal data. You can see the difference, right? And if you click it, uh, it's based on our value, the classify, this 45. And I think that's it. You can export it uh, into a uh, share file. Uh, it's much easier to do this way because you already put the data. You see, uh, in the city, they will have a much uh, higher uh, temperature. So that's in Jakarta, right? Yeah, Semarang, Surabaya. So I guess that's it for the video. You can use it also for the, uh, the rain, uh, precipitation, or even uh, dam, uh, you know, elevation. You can use it the same. Uh, what you do is first you need to well make sure the data is complete as one data then you try to uh, reclassify it into a discrete value then you really reduce it or group it i call it group uh, the, the value into the most common value to make it softer then you add it to the map and that's it you can reduce the factor if you want to i guess that's it thank you bye bye